Well, I started extremely well again, um, dominated the game, dominated the pitch, and scored two beautiful goals. And after that, we made a, a huge mistake to stop playing with the same purpose, to score the third and the fourth one, and just think that uh, we can play them around them and, and maintain that result. And, uh, and just looked too easy. And on that moment, we give them hope and credit to West Ham because they took it. Um, they did what they did really well. They started to play extremely direct. From there, they went to a long throw. From them, a corner. And we really struggled to get out of, of that game. And um, and if you don't go to defend your box the way you should in the two goals that we concede, um, then you have to do many more things much better for longer periods in the match. And then there is another moment when you can go after 50 minutes, 3-1 up, and probably the game is over, and two minutes later you can see the goal. But this is part of football. My worry is after 2-0 that uh, we make that huge mistake um, and don't understand what the game required in that moment. How do you explain that complacency, whatever it may be? Easy to do it from outside the pitch. You have to be a player, you have to feel it there, and, um, and we have to understand those emotions as well. But uh, we need that ruthless mindset in that moment to go and kill a team. When a team is there for the given, uh, you have to, we have to kill it, and, and today we haven't done it. And when you don't do that in the Premier League, at some stage it's going to turn around, they're going to have some momentum, and, and then you have to defend. For example, the second goal much better than what we did. If not, you don't win the game. Nick? Does it concern you that this, this week's game and last week's game's Anfield have followed a very similar pattern? Well, the pattern in terms of the result is different. In terms of what happens, it was very different. Um, but you have to accept that, and uh, that's the last thing that we want in our brains is to not have the confidence that after having the possibility to kill the game, don't do it. And that's the next stage. When you are there, you have to do it, and you have to play with the same purpose or more and not give them anything. Do you think that 2-1 there was a bit of a psychological hangover from last week? It can happen, but again, you're telling that uh, what goes every through every mind is, is probably different. Uh, but we all knew at half time what we have to do and, and try to do it better. And it's true. And credit to West Ham when they start to play that game. If they are efficient in those first two balls, it is difficult because you have to fight and earn the right to play. But when we did it, especially with the changes, then you have to have more composure to finish the game off. Dan? For sure, because we are here to win. And when you are able to play at that level and then you drop your level to here uh, so quickly, the game is there. You know, and any opponent are going to be able to do that. So for sure, we have to dig really deep in there um, and, and find the solutions to that. For the reason of that, I have no idea. And I didn't have an idea seven weeks ago or 12 for what is going to happen in three weeks. Uh, my biggest task is go again and train really well and on Friday play at the same level that we played the first 30 or 35 minutes against a team that is fighting for the life or against the Liverpool team, but do it much for a longer period and then kill the game. Gary? Sorry? Fatigue-wise, no, because the f what we produced in the first, second half against Liverpool, it was similar, and today we put uh, higher inputs in the second half than in the first half. We were slower in everything that we did. Uh, but fatigue, I don't think the, the, the team is fatigued or, or look fatigued. Um, and the best way to put it is just convince them how good they are and when they do what they have to do. And this is what we have to put in our brains. OK, we'll do the last couple. Kaya? Yeah, Well, because after we could not control uh, what West Ham was proposing and um, and they considering goals away from home, you can see two or three goals away from home, it's extremely difficult to, to win football matches as we did and, and we have to blame ourselves there how we defended the boxes. Do you think the pressure at this stage of the season maybe has been overcome? I would say yes if I see a team from the beginning playing <laughs> when I see a team playing with that flow, it does not. And a tunnel certainly is not the pressure. Is that we really misunderstood what the game required in that moment. And finally, we'll go to Kossi. Yeah. 
the same that the team has to respond because probably if you do the three one you're going to win the match and maybe you win the, the game for a bigger margin and then we are not discussing about what happened here so you have to put everything into context if you are prepared to take responsibility to take penalties you have to know that in that package the possibility to miss is 100 percent at some stage you're going to miss penalty and you have to be able to after react after that if not you cannot be a penalty taker and Buka has been through that and it will go through that again for sure, and you have to pick one player to do it. It has to be done. It was a crucial moment. We missed it, and this is football. I haven't seen the image, and it's too late, and I don't really want to use that as an excuse, honestly.